So the other day I did a video on these combo Leslie speaker assemblies that Tony and his son dropped off because they were sitting in the garage for the last two years after he got them from a clear out of a place that used to be an organ repair shop. I got one of them plugged in and going and I'm going to be putting them into the Game Boy Mega Machine but I'm waiting for a couple of parts to turn up before I do that. Thanks for all the comments on that video, there was loads of ideas floating around and I'll be doing a video soon on what I'm going to be planning to do with them specifically. My favourite comment that actually popped up a couple of times was the, that's not a proper Leslie speaker, you need a proper Leslie speaker, I've got a proper Leslie speaker and they sound real good. The thing is, this baffle is for a full range speaker. In a proper Leslie setup, there's actually two different things. This would be at the bottom and it would have a low pass filter and then there's actually a horn on the top that is sort of acting like the tweeter. And funnily enough, the horn, actually one side of it is fake as a counterweight. So imagine if there was Leslie speakers in another dimension and nobody actually thought of putting the counterweight fake horn on the other side, it would just be wobbling around all the time. So I have four identical ones of these and they were in different types of organs. And I have another one that looks a little bit different. And this assembly, uh, you can actually find it in other organs as well as the Fender Vibratone. So that is exactly what is inside a Fender Vibratone, which is basically one of these inside a box. So that's the one I'm gonna be giving away. So still need to find who to give it to. So when I was doing a bit of research on these things, a funny thing happened. I was on uh, Google, I was searching up like Leslie speakers and one of the top suggested posts was, how do I connect a Leslie speaker to my guitar? And in my head, that I got completely the wrong idea. In my head, it just went like, oh, it's like a transformer thing where literally a guitar is connected to a Leslie speaker. That's obviously not what that statement means, but I do actually struggle quite a lot of descriptive words. I really struggle with reading fictional uh, literature and stuff. There's so many descriptive words. And then I searched around the internet and I couldn't actually find a guitar that was bought to a Leslie speaker. It may very well still exist, but if, if it does, please put a link below. So today, that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be bolting this neck and uh, bridge from a uh, Telecaster. Oh, it's a Squire actually, not bad. And we're gonna be putting it onto this somehow. So how are we gonna do this? Well, I'm gonna turn it around. And what we're gonna do then is we're gonna put the uh, bridge and neck um, somewhere like here. However, the problem is this is slightly raised and it's raised beyond the sort of offset point. I think I've got, yeah, I've got, a, got it written here. So like it's a 1.8 centimeter offset. So this whole thing needs to be raised uh, 1.8 centimeters to the neck because the neck is usually uh, built into something. I would cut, I don't want to modify this too much because I want to keep on using it. Oh yeah, that's a different height. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. Obviously this is gonna be attached to mains, the motor, so that's gonna hang out the back. So yeah, I think that's the best method, but I need to raise this up and that's too flexible for holding this. Whee! That was easy. That is super easy, nice. Look at that, that's lovely. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just commit to where I put the neck. That's fine, I mean, I could probably bring it in, but then I'd need to raise it up because I need to build more of this. I mean, I could. Potentially do that. This is officially going to stretch my woodworking skills to the max and I am fully ready to get a load of backlash in the comments about like, oh, you should have done it like this. You should have done it like that. Well, I'm, 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 I'm all ears. I'm all up for learning. So let us know how you would have done it in the comments below. The other rather annoying thing is because of the tolerance of how close the actual uh, drum sits on here, I won't be able to fit the metal plate here, which is a bit annoying. If I was smart, I would route out a space for it, but that's just not me. Whenever you take a guitar apart, you never actually lose the screws. Do you know why? Because they're always stuck to a pickup. <laughs> Videos always have the pleasure of hindsight, so it's always easier to judge how better to do this after seeing somebody do an awful job of it. So uh, this is the awful job, and hopefully next time somebody does this, they'll do it better, because this is bad. This is real bad. And there we go. <laughs> oh yeah, there, there we go, there's the neck. Oh no, I thought I bolted it on the... I have put it on the wrong... Oh, I'm a plonker, I've put it all on the wrong side. Phewey! There we go. So this is quite thick, so there's not a massive amount of flex, but there's still a stonking great big hole in it. it might just be not rigid enough, but we'll see. Right, um, 11.7 centimeters away. Right, so I've got a bit of a plan. Uh, so if you've watched these videos, you'll definitely know that I'm not really a tape measure kind of person, so <laughs> I'll just, just do it. Okay, so it needs to go to this point, so. It 
so it's not the neatest nor the most symmetrical thing in the world but it doesn't matter it's going to be functional so that's going to sit about here so this needs to be offset about 1.8 centimeters from the height of this so i need to subtract the width of this uh, from a basically a square bit of 3d printed material with this gas gap out and then i'm going to put that there and i'm going to drill some holes i'm going to mount this and then we're going to be, oh, this is going to be awesome. Now we've got to wait for the bracket to print. The reason I'm printing this bracket is because I know it's going to be the right size. I'm going to make it 1.5 centimeters tall, which takes into account the offset. And I will drill the mounting holes into it later on just to save on time for measurements and whatnot. So I'll see you in an hour or so. Right, here we go. We have a nice little offset piece that's going to put this... That saved me 10 minutes of uh, needless CAD and probably getting it wrong within the dimensions. So the great thing is with guitar bridges that they have a certain tolerance. Well, you can lower the saddles for the strings. And if you have this too close or too far away by a few millimeters, that's all right. You move the saddle forwards and backwards to get the intonation right. So that's fine. So it's okay. It's going to need a bit of fine tuning at the end, but let's get it built. Oh yeah, look at that. How good is that? Pretty awesome. It's pretty hench. That's pretty solid. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Look how good that is. I've also put the top and the bottom string in place just to sort of get an idea of where they'll sit on the actual neck. And the intonation's not that bad either. Okay, so we have ourselves a guitar and... It does play, however, it is a little bit flexible. We definitely need to do some strengthening. But apart from that, for a test, it's not actually that bad at all. As you can see, the action is absolutely awful. However, that is down to the strength and rigidity of the body, which I think will get better with time. Uh, I'm gonna have to just do quite a bit of thinking of how to do some strengthening that won't get in the way of the rest of the machine. It, it, it's possible. Oh my God. This is actually an idea. So this is definitely not what you should do. I'm just putting some tape over it so I don't get electrocuted so I can actually uh, play it. But I mean, oh man, that's scary. Well, does do not do this. Do not do that, right? I'm just gonna turn it on, double check it's gonna work. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Let's, uh, right, let's see what comes out. Right, let's see if I can hold this without getting electrocuted. Oh my god. Oh, it's really... Oh. Uh. Wow, that's hard to play. This, this, the, it's probably the hardest guitar to play ever. Right, yeah, let's get a recap on this test. So we basically put a guitar neck and bridge onto the front of a Leslie speaker assembly. And yeah, okay. It, it works as well as I was expecting, which is not very well. Uh, that is not just down to my shoddy workmanship. The actual spinning of the baffle uh, somewhat pushes the air away from it this way when there's not actually anything stopping it from uh, yeah coming out this way. So most of the guitar sound seems to head away from it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a clear perspex airtight box at the back of it. This is going to do two things. It's going to add more rigidity, so hopefully we'll get that neck a little bit straighter. I'm going to add some strengthening bars here and there, and also it's going to act like a sound box, and hopefully the air will act differently and it won't just 
all just come out the front because I'm pretty sure right now the sound isn't actually coming from the fact that it's a Leslie speaker but it's coming from the fact that when the disc is spinning well it's actually vibrating the whole assembly which is actually I think most of the vibrato that you're hearing so yeah I'm gonna get some plexiglass and I'm gonna get strengthening and I'll see you on this project in a couple of weeks if you want to see the update don't forget to subscribe there's a load of music and content and stuff like that over on patreon and YouTube membership if you want to support these kind of videos because every little helps to build uh, you know do this which is pretty uh pretty dodgy anyway i've been looking at my no computer and yeah don't be scared to try it maybe, maybe don't try this one or, or if you're gonna try it try and do it better <laughs>